Hi everyone, this is Bhuvaneswari Devaraj, Assistant Professor, PG Department of Mathematics, Kesa College of Arts and Science for Women, Kitchenwood. In this video, we will discuss about time series and the index numbers in applied statistics for economics. The term applied statistics refer to the use of use of statistical theory to conduct uh, uh, operational activities in a variety of field in real life uh, situations. There are many fields in which statistical concept can be applied. Some of them are business decision making, uh, finance marketing, economics, social science, industry, agriculture and etc. An important aspect of applied statistics is to study about the present and the future behavior of the activities performed in the industry. In this video, we will discuss about the theoretical and the applications of the applications of the statistical methods of time series, index numbers, and sampling theory. Each one of them has its importance in its field of applications. Statistical analysis has been widely used for scientific research, survey, experiments, etc. So first one, time series. So time series uh, analysis is one of the statistical methods used to determine the patterns in data collected for a period of time. In generally, each of us should know about the past data to observe and understand the changes that have been take place in the past and the current time. One can also identify the uh, regular or irregular occurrence of any specific figures uh, over a time period in time series data. Most of the time, uh, the time series data relates to fields uh, like uh, economics, business, commerce and etc. For example, the production of a product cost of your product, sales of your product, and the national income, salary of an individuals, and extra. These are the examples for a time series. By close observations of time series data, one can predict and plan for future operations in industries and other fields. Now see that why should be why should we learn time series? So time series is helps to analysis of past behavior and it is also helps um, in uh, for hasting and uh, for future plans and also uh, it's help the evaluations of current achievements and all and etc. Here see the components of time series. The components of time series has four types. First one is regular trend, seasonal variations, cyclic um, variations and uh, irregular variations. First we see that regular uh, trends. So regular trends means it is general tendency of time series to increase or decrease during a long time period. Next we see the seasonal variation. As the name suggests, density movements are due to the nature which repeat themselves predicti uh, sorry, predictically in every uh, session. Next we see that uh, cyclic variations. The variations are not necessarily and uniformly for the periodic in nature. That is the the way or sorry it is uh, may or may not be follow exactly similar pattern often equal intervals of time next we see that uh, irregular variations these variations do not have particular patterns and this is no regular period of time of their uh, occurrence these are accidentally changed which are purely random or unpredictable now see the measurement of trends. Uh, the trends are uh, um, the trends are measured by uh, four types. First one is freehand method. The freehand method is also said to be a graphic method. Second one is method of semi-average. Third one measures of moving average. And last one is the measure of least squares. 
now see the index numbers so index numbers are the indicators which reflect the changes over a specified period of time in price of different commodities productions sale cost of living index uh, up to etc the index numbers are statistical methods used to measure the relative changes in the level of variables or group of variables with respect to the time locations or or other characteristics such as income professions etc now we see the classification of index numbers the classification of index numbers are uh, three types first one price index numbers second one is uh, quantity index number third one is uh, the cost of living index number the price index number is uh, measures the general changes in the retail or wholesale price level of the particular or group of commodities the quantity index numbers are indicates the uh, measures of changes in quantity of goods uh, manufactured in a factory cost of living index numbers uh, the cost of living index numbers or is the effect of change in the price level on the cost of living in living of uh, different classes of people now see the uses of index numbers the index numbers are uh, is a important tool for formulating decisions and management poli policies and it is also helps the study the trends and uh, tendency tendencies and it is also determine the uh, influences of uh, an economy now we see the constructions of index numbers there are two types first one is unweighted index numbers the second one is weighted index numbers now see the test of adequacy the test of adequacy for an index numbers are tested by two uh, tests first one is time reversal test the second one is a factor reversal test now see the sampling so sampling is the um, procedure or process of selecting a sample from a population so sampling is a quite often used in our day to day practical life so thank you for watching